So after we successfully added the SDKs to our app, the next thing to do is, is to test our database connection. So to do that, we need to initialize the database and of course, send some data to it, ensure that the data appears in that way, we'll know that our database connection is very well appropriate. So to enable us to do that, we need to kind of add a button to our layout, to our main layout. In that way, when we click the button, we send some data to our database. And there we can verify that our connection is superb. Hence, we cannot proceed and build our Uber clone application. So let's edit our design. So I know you guys already know how to do this, but I'm going to quickly add a button that we're going to use, you know, to kind of trigger the command. Ready? I'll call it, uh, call it my button. Layout height. We will set our wrap content. Layout width. We set it at match parent. And of course, I'll set some margin. So change the DP. And of course, I set the test. So we can just go ahead and say test connection. Bam. Okay, so we are done editing our design. So the next thing is to reference our button in our main activity. So to do that, we we'll have to create an instance of a button, we have to declare a button. BTN test connection. Okay. So we we'll have to we we'll have to reference this button that we just created to the one in our layout file. Alright. So to do that We'll cast this to a button and of course find view by ID resource dot ID dot my button. Bam. So we are done with that. So the next thing to do is to add an event handler, a click event handler to the button. I'm very sure you guys already know how to do this. Okay, plus equal to a space then tab. This creates a function for you. Okay, so we've created an event handler. So now we need to initialize the database. We need to initialize the database using Firebase and using Firebase dot database. Good. So let's um, write a function that we will use to initialize the database okay so void i'm gonna call it initialize database so before we proceed we need to declare a firebase database variable okay firebase database we call it database okay so the way I'm going to show you guys is the safest way to initialize your Firebase database. Because sometimes you might initialize your app and your app is equal to null. So this is just the best way to initialize it. Firebase app, not initialize app. 
if everything works well this is supposed to initialize your app but on some occasions this might not suffice your app will return no so you probably might need to force it to initialize so we're going to put an if statement to check that so if it's no we have to use a firebase options to initialize the database we're going to declare an option Use the Firebase Builder, so we'll end it with the build, and inside that, set application ID, set application ID, and this information you can find it in your Google Services JSON file. Okay, so let's get our application ID. So the project project ID is your application id okay so you copy it and of course as a string and paste it set api key so we can still find our api key in our google services gen file Dot set database URL. So we'll grab our database URL and here it is. So the last one we need to grab the storage bucket as well. So we copy the storage bucket, and here is the storage bucket. So you paste that, and you build. So the the other thing we're gonna do is So the next thing we need to do is to assign the instance of our Firebase database to the variable that we declared globally, okay? So this variable is the one we are going to be using to be writing data and reading data from our online database, from our real-time online database. So we are going to assign it. Database is equal to Firebase database dot get instance of app so guys this is how to initialize a database so like I earlier mentioned before sometimes you may initialize your app this way your firebase app and it can return no so in some cases it might not return no so if it doesn't return no we should just go ahead and assign value to a database firebase database dot get instance of app so guys this is how to initialize a database so the next thing we need to do is we need to write some data to the database so that we can be very certain that our connection is superb and we can proceed so to do that we need a database reference so database reference db ref um so see database don't get reference let's say user support and let's set a value to that to that reference so we're going to set a value to it so if we see this value we'll be sure that our database is well connected so when this is done let's just display a toast to tell us that this is completed
center to slant goes short and show this is how to initialize your database so we need to test this first okay so we need to call this function on button click so when we click the test connection button we want this particular function to execute so i have my emulator so i'm going to deploy the app so in this way i'll be sure that the data really entered our database our real-time database online so our app is up and running so now this is a database so we click on test connection wow so it seems everything is fine you can see user support ticket one so the value that we set in our app successfully got to a firebase database so this means that our connection is successful and everything is fine so guys this is how to initialize your database so of course we can now proceed and build our uber clone application so guys see you in the next class